Welcome to America Reads Fun and Easy Learning Activities, where college students work together to create learning activities for kids. In today's activity, we will be writing and evaluating numerical expressions involving whole number exponents. Let's get started. In today's activity, we'll be going over exponents and what it is, what they mean, how to solve them, anything that has to do with exponents. So, if you've never seen an exponent before, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. An exponent is this little dude here. If you ever see a small number like that, just hanging, just hanging around a next, another number, that is an exponent. And what exactly does that mean? The, basically what that's telling you is that we are going to multiply three by itself twice. So this translates to that. And it's like that for every number. I will show you some more examples, um, different exponents to work with. Now there is no limit to what an exponent could be. So you could have an exponent of nine, or you could have an exponent of seven. And both of these things mean the same thing. So for this one, that means that we would multiply three by itself seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that translates to that right there. Now I'm going to show you a basic example of how to solve this question or the answer or just a practice question here. I'm going to put, I'm going to use 1 plus 2 squared. When you see an exponent of 2, we call it squared. When you see an exponent of 3, we will call it cubed um, and so on and so forth. But disregard that, just an example. So we translate this right to two times two, which equals four. So then this problem is basically saying, what is one plus four? And the answer to that would be five. Now here we have this problem, which looks a little bit more complicated because we have more square roots than in the other problems. So again, we just translate it to make it easier for us. So this one means three times three. This one means four times four. And this gives us nine. Whoops. And this one gives us 16. So to translate that would be 9 plus 16 plus 3 equals, and I have my dandy calculator here to help me out with that, and it would equal to 28. So we just, to make these problems much understandable and just very easy for you, anytime that you see an exponent, just solve it, simplify it down to something like this, and then you can multiply that, and then you can add and get the answer to your equation. Now, here we have an even more complicated equation. We have three exponents now that we have to break down. So, same process. To simplify this, it would be six times six. To simplify this, is a little bit harder because now we have an exponent of 3. So it would be 5 times 5 times 5. And to simplify this one right here, it be 5 times 5. So I know I kind of did a mess there. It's kind of everywhere. But, so for our first one, 
we have five times five, which gives us 25. So I'm actually gonna scoot over here and write it down for you here. So our first one equals 225. So then we have our third one, which is five times five times five, three times. So that gives us 125. That's a bigger number. And then we're adding our third one here, and which is six times six, because we have an exponent of two, which gives us 36, which equals to 186. So that is, that number is up there, but that would be the solution to this equation right here. We broke it down, found answers to that, and then added. Thank you for learning with me today. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with tons of new fun activities.